Well, Canes fans, it looks like it's official. Miami is out of NIL money. We're broke, and it's time to hit the panic button. What's going on, Canes fans? Now, before we dive into today's video, I need to make one thing very clear. The intro was just a joke. Miami is not out of NIL money. That is, however, what opposing teams fans want you to believe. And it's the narrative that they are going to continue to push online now that this John Ruiz news has come out. And they want to bring us down. Of course, they don't like Miami. And why would they? And they're hoping to influence potential future recruits. And there is definitely some bad news with all of this. I'm not here to sugarcoat things. What we're going to do is talk openly and honestly about all of it. We're going to put it all out on the table. And then if any of you have any questions about this or some things maybe that you think of that don't get addressed in this video, make sure that you drop them down in the comment section and we'll chop it up and we'll talk about it. So the other day, the Miami Herald published an article with this headline, Financial Storm the top booster for the University of Miami Athletics, whose money has helped the university attract top recruits for football and basketball, faces financial and legal challenges. Their online article said, Red flags on top of red flags. Problems mount for UM Athletics booster John Ruiz. First off, let's be real here. All of the attention that this is getting will hurt Miami's image slightly. There's no denying that. In one way or another, or in multiple ways, it definitely will. However, I personally think only to those that are uninformed. Of course, we expect other fan bases to run with it because they don't want us to do well. I get it. And there are going to be a lot of Canes fans that are you know, going to take what they see online at face value, and they are also going to run with it. They are literally hitting the panic button asking how we're going to be able to compete in this NIL space if John Ruiz isn't contributing. But here are the facts. John Ruiz truly did sort of jumpstart this NIL thing here at Miami. There's a reason why ESPN interviewed him and wrote a bunch of articles about him referring to him as the NIL king. He spent literal millions of dollars. He's not the only one, though. And listen closely to this next part. He's just the most vocal. Most of the big donors and boosters that I've personally spoken with prefer to remain behind the scenes. Uh, they don't talk about, you know, the money that they contribute very often. They're not putting it on blast on social media. They don't want the recognition. And both sides of this are okay. It's perfectly fine to, you know, jump online and be like, hey, I contributed X amount of dollars to this and it being a lot of money and wanting a pat on the back. That's, that's A-OK, -okay, right? But it's also okay to remain in the shadows and just quietly, you know, contribute money. And that's where the Keynes Connection Collective comes in. Did you guys know that currently almost 80% of the deals signed with Miami athletes are through Keynes Connection? They've been preparing for this for a while, and there are a lot of big-time contributors associated with Kane's connection. I honestly didn't realize until I started looking online how many fans weren't even aware of Kane's connection. So many people believe that NIL at Miami purely runs through John Ruiz, and that's just not the case. Now, as I said, he absolutely is a big time contributor and he has even contributed some money to Kane's connection. So there's no denying that there's there's no coming up here on camera and lying and saying that this doesn't impact us negatively in multiple ways because it does. But this narrative that's being pushed that Miami is broke and uh, we've broken all these rules also, which we'll get into here in just a moment, is all just a bunch of unnecessary nonsense when it comes to paying current and future players 
We are in good hands. I promise you, you have nothing to worry about when it comes to that, when it comes to the money. Now, getting back to the John Ruiz stuff, it looks like that his company Life Wallet, which was the company that was funding all of this NIL stuff, is possibly about to be under federal investigation or maybe even already is. Now, the company was projected to make almost $992 million, and in reality, it turned out to only be like $23 million. Now, I'm not going to come up here and say that I have all of the facts when it comes to the financials because John Ruiz is actually denying most, if not all, of this. Uh, he has said that he's not under any type of investigation, and... Uh, it's just normal normal business, business as usual for him. I am happy to report that at least as of right now, no payments have been missed to any players. And trust me, we would know real quick if that were the case. And he also intends to honor all current contracts that he has with players. And remember also, you know, keep in mind, this goes beyond football. So now we know that financially in the NIL world, we will be just fine. I think that we'll still be able to compete with the big boys, no problem. But let's address the elephant in the room, something that I know most of you are probably thinking right now. Is the NCAA going to come after Miami? Is the university in danger of sanctions or getting into some sort of trouble? The quick short answer is that it's highly unlikely. By law, the school isn't currently allowed to facilitate NIL transactions. And because of this, I think it would be difficult for the NCAA to pin anything on the university. And right now, no one even knows if Ruiz actually did anything wrong when it comes to the NIL side of things. All of this is talking about, you know, a federal investigation of his company, his business life wallet. And because of that, of course, he would be taking a step back and not having as big of a role when it comes to the NIL side of things. Because, well, uh, it's looking like he has much bigger fish to fry. But again, you know, we've already said this, he's denying all of this, so time will tell. Right now, it's a lot of finger pointing and he said, she said kind of stuff. What really shocked me is seeing Canes fans on social media trying to compare this to the Nevin Shapiro situation. And I think that fans are forgetting that times are different. Players can be paid now. So players getting money is not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, the NCAA is still trying to figure out how to regulate this thing and what all the rules are going to be. Now, there could potentially be a scenario where depending on how Ruiz and his company was receiving funds and then those funds being distributed out to players, you know, and, and maybe some type of issue there, but I still think that would solely fall on Ruiz and his company. I don't believe that you can fault the players or the university in any way because they would have no idea that these things were happening. And again, that's all also assuming, right? And we all know what happens when you assume things. Now, the one thing I will say to wrap this video up is I would not put it past the NCAA to try to pin something on Miami. If anything, they might possibly use this as an excuse and say, you know, this gives us grounds to come in and snoop around a little bit. And maybe it just so happens that they magically find other things uh, that are wrong or, you know, that uh, they don't approve of. And then they try to slap us on the wrist with something because I don't care what anybody says, the NCAA does still hate us, in my opinion. But you know, as I said, basically right now, the response is time will tell when it comes to Ruiz and Life Wallet and his company and how much of a step back he does take when it comes to this NIL stuff. But the players are still getting paid. Uh, current contracts are being honored and Kane's connection is there to pick up the slack and take over. And they already have the majority of the deals with current players uh, on the squad. So I'm honestly not really worried about anything. This hit to our image online again, 
I just I'm I'm not that worried about it. Really, I'm not. As long as as players are getting paid and they see the checks being written, uh, then it's just honestly not that big of a deal in, in my opinion. And maybe I will be wrong. You know, maybe we look back at this thing six months from now or a year from now and it's like whoa. I was way off on that one. We've got some serious problems. But again, with the way all of this NIL stuff works, um, I don't really think that it's it's much to, to worry about, just honestly. But let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. This is probably going to be quite opposite from what you're seeing on social media, online, on Twitter, Facebook, and different forums and things. Uh, from opposing teams' fans, most definitely, but also from other Canes fans. And I think, again, it's just a situation of people uh, being uninformed. And that's not a shot at anyone. It's just I think that people really didn't realize that the the Canes Connection Collective was there. Uh, they only see John Ruiz because it's a big name. I mean, this guy was, you know, on television, big-time lawyer, well-known guy in South Florida, right? So they see him, and when they think Miami and NIL – they instantly see his face, and they only associate him. And they don't realize that there are lots of big spenders and contributors when it comes to this thing. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, you know, let's chop it up. Don't be afraid to ask the tough questions or to, to bring things up that you think are controversial because everyone has a voice here on this channel. You guys know that I love tackling the tough stuff, and we don't run and hide from, you know, negative things. We bring it up, and we talk about it openly and honestly. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.